Hey everyone, it's Beth Repto with the Repto Realty Group. Um, I am coming to you live, uh, live here from the office, and I wanted to take this opportunity to talk about a couple of things. Um, first and foremost, 2019, um, I sat down with the team and we decided that um, one of the things that we really wanted to focus on and one of our missions for this year was to really educate our client base, our friends, um, our past clients, anybody, anybody that we are as in our sphere. We Education is really one of the missions that we're on and we want to bring to you some knowledge um, on what exactly is going on with the real estate market. Um, so we are going to be running a series this year of videos like this, Facebook Live events, so that we can talk about various topics and help educate our, um, our people. Um, so today we're going to start out, um, this is our first one, and today um, is going to be a really kind of a broad picture of what's happening with the real estate market nationally and locally. <clears throat> Excuse me. And our goal here also is to really become your economist of choice. Uh, and what does that mean? Uh, basically, we want to be your trusted resource for all things real estate. And we, again, we want to be, uh, provide the education so that you feel very knowledgeable on what's going on. There's so many resources out there. There's so many places to go to get information you hear on the news or you look at Zillow and you look at your Zestimate and all this stuff, right? There's so much. Um, so how do you cut through all that and get to what's really happening? And uh, that's what we're here for. We are your resource. So um, so this really is timely because I'm not sure um, you know, if you've been following us or not, but um, Lindsay and I, Lindsay is our Director of Operations here at Repta Realty Group. We went down to New Orleans for a family reunion. It's Keller Williams. Family reunion, um, funny enough, when I first heard of the concept family reunion and got into Keller Williams, I thought we were going to family reunion like we were going to go have a barbecue somewhere, like at a picnic area with eating hot dogs and chips, and um, that's not what we went to. I, I thought it sounded like that, so I didn't really quite know what to expect my first one, but I just came back from my fourth time going, and I can tell you it is dead opposite of that. Um, it's actually a place where, in my opinion, the best of the best in real estate come um, and listen and learn from one another and collaborate and mastermind and um, listen and learn about what's going on with the real estate market. So we just got back from that. Lindsay and I drove to, we drove to New Orleans and we drove back I kind of felt like Thelma and Louise meet Smokey and the Bandit. It was it was a wild wild ride. I think in total we were in the car for 30 hours. I I don't think we'll ever do that again. I also got pulled over on the way back <clears throat> and got out of a speeding ticket, so that was fun. Anyway, I digress. Let's jump in. So, what is going on with the real estate market? I'm going to give you some national news and then I'm going to break it down to what that means locally here in McHenry County and I might hit on a couple of um, numbers just specifically for Cary since we do a lot of business there and uh, we live there. Um, so nationally, I have some slides over here. So I'm looking at my computer over here. Um, number one, home sales. Home sales declined nationally about 3%. Okay, um, That's a result of low inventory levels and higher mortgage rates. Now, Low inventory levels. Some of you guys might be, um, well, I guess raise your hand if you're constantly looking on a real estate app for new houses. Even if you're not in the market, don't you always look at these apps? You're looking at Zillow or Redfin or whatever. Um, you should be looking at my Keller Williams app, which I will send. I will send a link in this, in this email. But either way, um, you're always looking at real estate, right? And you probably may be thinking to yourself, like, where are all the houses? Why is there nothing for sale? Nothing you know, there just doesn't seem to be a lot of houses on the market right now. And that's because there's not, and I'll get to that, but there is a low supply of inventory right now. And um, that is one of the reasons why we've seen home sales slow down, okay? Um, and higher mortgage rates, they're not that high. Actually, the Fed was supposed to raise interest rates um, a couple times in 2019, and that was what the prediction was. And quite frankly, a couple days ago, they were at, I believe, a five-year low. Any of my mortgage rate people, my mortgage... Uh, brokers correct me definitely correct me if I'm wrong but I think I saw a report the other day um, that came out that said that they were at a very low point maybe the lowest point in a, in a while um, so again we did see uh, home sales slow down a little bit 
Um, really what happened too last year at the end of 2018 we felt it really slow down um so september october november we really felt um the slowdown of the market we started to see it in our showings and then but you can't quantify things right away in real estate because there's all these this data lag and so we started to feel it but we couldn't quantify it and then once we saw these numbers come out it really solidified what we had all felt that everything was starting to slow down quite a bit and so the back half of last year was ultimately quite slow um it's actually started off very slow this year however um i i will get to uh what my feelings are in the future but i think that's about to change so i'm really excited about that because we're all ready to go um home prices home prices actually rose five percent nationally um and um to a median price point nationally of 259 so that's a national average for home prices right now um so but still i do think that this year we are going to start to see a slowdown and it's going to start to even out a little bit more um between the years of 2012 and 2015 we saw an average about a 7.6 percent increase and again this is national so some of the areas in our country like the hot real estate markets like your denvers and your saddles and they drive a lot of that too we don't necessarily see a lot of that in chicagoland um but that was what was happening happening excuse me in 2012 through 2015 and then in 2016 through 2018 it started to slow down a little bit um to around that five percent mark um okay here's my favorite one month supply of inventory and um month supply of inventory now again this is this is why we are your economists of choice because we can really talk eloquently about these numbers so this is a little bit of an interesting concept but um month supply of inventory is if everything stood still today in the real estate world and no no new homes came on the market um it would take roughly about four months to sell out on a national level that's low that's really low um really a flat market real estate market is a six month supply of inventory okay and i feel like we're kind of in this dance right now or like a pickle you know like a baseball term pickle the only reason i'm using this term pickle right now is because ryan Rapto would be very happy that I'm using a baseball term, um, but it's when you're going to get caught in a rundown. Okay, maybe let me use something else. So, um, the chicken or the egg is probably a better. Let's go with that. So, chicken or the egg, right? So, we've got these buyers here, and they want to buy, but some of these buyers actually have to sell to buy, and they can't sell because there's nothing for them to move into. You see the dance we're playing here. I'm very hopeful at least you know na nationally as well as locally that within the next two weeks three weeks we start seeing the inventory we need to get the people that need to sell out there to buy so they sell I know it's crazy right but that but I mean I have so many clients right now in this spot in this space in this bubble and um, I'm hoping that just we get some of the sellers to get on the market hint hint like now because there's no competition get on the market so that will start things up again. That's really what we need, okay? Um, so that's, oh, and mortgage rates, like I said, mortgage rates, still, my parents, I mean, if you, you know, if you think about it like this, in the 1980s, interest rates were like 16, 18%, okay? So we're talking about like 4%, still really good, really good rates out there. Um, and even the fact that the Fed was supposed to raise, raise rates excuse me and had, has not um, is a great thing so take advantage take advantage um, okay so let's bounce locally so that's national stuff let's get locally locally doesn't look much different so, so just to let you know um, when we're looking at McHenry County or let's talk about Chicago Chicago month supply of inventory 3.8 low McHenry County 3.4 low Cary Illinois 3.5 month supply of inventory low People list your houses. <laughs> That's all I can say. There's no competition. You're not no, but there's not a lot. Okay, get out there. Get out there early and get get on the market. Um, you know, I think the weather has had everything to do with why we're not seeing inventory early on. Usually, right after the Super Bowl, we are busy, 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 and I'm still busy, but not busy as I like to be or want to be. But it's coming. Um, we personally, I think we signed 11 listing agreements, Donna, right? We took 11 listings yeah. in February. We're still waiting to get a lot of them need to get on. And then we have a whole slew coming in March as well. So we are going to be busy. And I'm hoping that um, we're going to see more of that, more inventory hitting the market. Um, 
So um, that's really mostly what I wanted to talk to you about. It's just kind of giving you um, just a basis of for what I think this year is going to look like. And again, I think it's going to be pretty flat. Um, but still a great market, still lower interest rates, still a low month supply of inventory. I think it's going to be a good year in real estate for 2019. And um, again, I want to use this as a format and a forum. You know, Please, 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 I encourage you highly, please put some comments in below here about what kind of topics you'd like to hear about. So this is just kind of like the overview of real estate, but we're ready to dive into whatever you want to talk about. You want to talk about staging? Let's talk about staging. You want to talk about hey, I'm wanting to do this home renovation project and I'm not sure how much this will, you know, the ROI will be. Do you think it's worth it? Ask away. Hey, oak trim versus white trim. Ask away. I mean, these are all things. No question is to, no question's a bad question. You know, we're just curious. Stay in curiosity. We're here to help and give you our insight as to what we see out there every day in real estate land. Um, so again, I really appreciate you guys listening in. If there's anything we can do to help you, um, don't hesitate to reach out. You can always private message me. You can call me. My phone number is 847-668-BETH. That's right. And I picked that phone number in the year 2000 before I was even a real estate agent a long, long time ago. So 668-BETH, that's one you'll never forget, right? Um, so again, we're here to help. Thank you for tuning in. Please comment on how we can help you. Comment on your questions and we'll get right back to you. And we thank you for watching it and we look forward to sharing uh, this year with you and learning and growing together um, just to make everyone smarter about real estate. Thanks guys, take care.